We'll do it table tennis style. Jolly. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta win. I'll take it. And you're starting at 10-0. You got match point here. This is match point? Match point. All right, it's gonna be quick, guys. Oh! Woo! Shelly! This is tiring. <laughs> How many timeouts do we get a game? Two? Two ten, Lily. <laughs> That's fine. I don't want to embarrass you too bad. Got to give you a few. Okay. <laughs> Forget I said anything. <sighs> the good thing we're not doing spin serves. I know. Oh my God. Three ten. Way. Way. All right, Nadal. <laughs> Six? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, <I'm gonna> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Was that fun for you? It felt fun for me. Super fun, thank you. <laughs> Having the time of my life. I'm just sad last night I couldn't run around this much because ping pong table a little smaller. But you were making me run around last night. <laughs> <laughs> Unsuccessful. Nothing's changed. Uh, what is it? Seven ten? Seven or eight? Uh, seven. Seven. For seven sure. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's nice. game. <laughs> we're calling it. At 10 7. Or 11 7, rather. Oh, we're done? Oh, yeah, you just won the game. Oh, what? <laughs> <Jolly. laughs>
Well, good morning to you from the Gaylord Palms Convention and Resort in Orlando, Florida. I'm at Hetherington here for the first match of the day, the mixed doubles final. Rachel Sung, Ma Jin Bao against Lily Jung and Liang Ji Shan. Umpire on the left, Jake Choi. On the right, Marina Cravens. The first big final here. We've got a big day ahead of us, starting with the doubles finals. Then women's singles semifinals, open singles semifinals, and then the finals of both the women's and open singles. Had a fantastic day yesterday with some unbelievable table tennis matches through the last 16 and quarterfinals of the open singles. Lots of seven game thrillers. And we'll be hoping to see more of that today. And it's going to start off here with two great pairs, all residing in the US. Great to see some home players here reaching the final. So the players here will have a two minute warm up before getting underway. Match will be best of seven. Jim Bao will also be playing in the open single semi-final later on today. Had a couple of really great wins in the open singles draw against Thomas Kynath and then Daniel Gorak last night. Later on today he'll be taking on Horacio Cifuentes in the open singles semi-final. So a couple of mixed left and right combinations here as well. Rachel Sung on the far side, left-handed, and then Jishan Liang here on the near side in the light blue, left-handed. This is usually fairly advantageous for doubles pairings. We'll typically see a little bit more speed and power coming from the near side. Especially with Jishan's forehand game. In the singles, open singles yesterday, he had an 11 9 in the seventh narrow defeat to Livermere Pishte. So it'll be 
Chung and Liang that get on the board first. Always good to get the first two serves and off your own serve. Helps alleviate some of those first point nerves. You can see Liang opening a little bit more steady. Jun Bao with a great inside out counter loop there. And there's the forehand that Rachel Sung and Margin Bao are going to try to shut down throughout this match. It's really a pivotal part of the double strategy is keeping Jishan Liang off that big forehand. Good job there to keep him a little off balance, out of position. Bao doing a great job on the backhand side, adding that wrist acceleration straight to the corner. And again, super job there of covering that backhand side. Rachel Sung opting to <clears throat> try and play with a bit more control and placement. Doing a good job of it so far this time. Ma opting to step around. Zhang and Liang taking the lead back here. That is just dangerous stuff to run into. <clears throat> A lot of communication in the doubles. Really need to get both players on the same page. Very, very strategic game, table tennis doubles. A lot of important factors, especially the footwork and the team synergy, especially when you're alternate heading between the, the two players. How you move around each other is also very important. Rachel Sung and Margin Bao tie things up at 8-8. Eight eight. And again, Liang Jishan, if he gets into position and gets balanced, especially on that step around forehand, has a great ability to hit anywhere on the table with maximum power. 
And there it is again. That is going to make a big difference for this team to win those two points. They've set up two game points here in game one. In this best of seven matchup in the mixed doubles final. That is just an unbelievable way to finish the first game. Sung and Ma holding their own up close to the table, but Lily Jung and Liang just holding up the attack there. Players got here nice and early this morning to warm up. Definitely wanted to put their best foot forward here. For this, for some of them, it will be their first big match of a few today. Lily Zhang still fighting in the women's singles. Marjin Bao still in the open singles event. And Chi Shan still in the men's doubles as well. Rachel Sung doing a great job there of controlling that powerful forehand from Jishan. players on the far side taking an early lead here. And Jishan just puts it away. That short ball to the forehand. Just a little bit too high. Easy picking for a player like Liang Jishan. He's got full range of movement across the table on his forehand. And Majin Bao this time. A great counter there. see both Sung and Lily Zhang really staying up on the table. Ma and Liang playing a little bit back there. The ones really trying to add some more power into the match. See a lot of short play here in the first early sequences of the points. And despite a strong start from 
two national team players at the far side. Ma and Sung have fought back here to take the lead. Lily Jung will have a pretty full schedule. She actually flies out to Amman tonight for the WTT Contender event, then plays in Kazakhstan ahead of this year's World Championships, and then has a short break after that before the Pan Am Champs. So and then she'll be joined by her doubles partner, also in the US team for the Pan American Championships. Players can use the towel break every six points. So you'll see most high level players utilizing that towel break every six points. Very hard to consistently maintain the high level of focus that's required for an entire game without taking some short breaks to reset and refocus. Definitely a correlation here between Jishan's big forehands and how the match is going. Haven't seen as many from him. Majin Bao and Rachel Sung have done a pretty good job of tightening things up to stop him from playing with so much power. We'll hold the lead here. Sung doing a brilliant job with that forehand counter. It's really covering that close table position really well. And a great little combo there. Ma with that fake flip. Helps set up the wide angle. You can see there's a concerted effort by these two to try and keep Liang off that backhand side. It's quite a typical strategy to use against right and left handed combinations to really try and bunch them up in the left handed backhand corner. able to land that one. It's going to draw the match up at 1-1. Rachel Sung and Majin Bao on the board here in this mixed doubles final.
little bit short on the table there, that ball to the corner. And this time Lily Jung making the big power play. Gets a lot of acceleration and very compact strokes. So even close to the table, you can see very dangerous player. And Jishan just putting it away. Helps them claw back that three point advantage to tie it up at 3 3. counter down the line. The winner of this mixed doubles final will take home a thousand US dollars. Both teams I'm sure would love to walk away from the table with that. Bao really staying aggressive on the serve return. It's been pretty formidable with that forehand flick receive. And Rachel Sung a little loose there. Generally, if you want to keep a player like Jishan out of position, you're going to have to really push him into that corner. And keep him on the backhand, and she, she was able to do that this time. see one of the small disadvantages of having a doubles partner with such a big forehand is it does take quite a lot of space. You can see Lily getting caught off the left side of the table there, having to try and move back in on quite a quick wall. So Rachel Sung, Margin Bell, doing a good job here of staying in it, 7 7 one, one. Saying yesterday, generally in doubles, the serve variations are fairly simple. A lot of short backspin, short nose spin serves. They want to keep things relatively tight to the net in the early stages of the point. Of course, also not really too much advantage in serving long in doubles, especially not when you have two left-handers on the table. And that is a fantastic forehand from Liang Jishan. 
really loads up a lot of weight transfer on that ball. A lot of direct power, very, very difficult to return if he's finding space on the table. But this time, a brilliant wide angle there. And they're going to have to do a, a better job of keeping him on his back end, which is tough because he really stands off the corner. So the strategy really has to be to get him away from that corner first and try and expose his backhand side. And Sung and Ma will set up a game point here. Good server time there from Lily. When a lot of the exchanges have been going cross court, as I said, with left handed pairs, a lot of work into a left hander's backhand corner. Sometimes server seating and putting a little fade down the line work wonders. Marjun Bao holding his own there with the counter. action there on that backhand flip receive and Rachel Sung and Margin Bao are going to take a 2-1 lead. You can see in a lot of instances or a couple of instances at least in that game when Jishan is going in for the backhand flip he really steps back through the shot trying to make space for his doubles partner Loses his balance a little bit. So Margin Bao and Rachel Sung are looking pretty steady right now out there. The pressure is all on Lily Zhang and Jishan. I know in previous previous match yesterday in the semi-final. They tended to do better when Jishan took a little bit of the pace off, focused on spin, and then took the power shots when they were a little better set up. It can be quite difficult to maintain a really powerful game when you're playing doubles. course the pairings alternate Liang will play on the server turn here to Rachel Sung so I think heavy spin will really help him perhaps get a softer return from Sung which he did but Lily wasn't able to time the follow-up So far, I think Ma and Sung have done a pretty good job of focusing on their placement. Still keeping up the aggression though. And a great forehand the half long ball there down the line just enough dip on it to stop Liang from countering
So it looks like timeout's going to be forced there. Lee Jung and Chi Shan Liang feeling like the match is getting away from them a little bit. Sung and Ma with a 5 2 lead in this game. Looking a little unshakable here. They've been really steady. Able to control the table quite well and force more errors from Zhang and Liang. have a pretty full schedule here for today's live stream it's the last day of the 2022 Yolo Global Championships starting off here with the mixed and then women's and men's doubles be followed by two women's single semi-finals two open single semi-finals and then the women's and open singles finals it's going to be a great day of table tennis Probably one of the first times that these pairs have played doubles together. I do think there are still some, uh, still some, I wouldn't say compatibility issues, but there's some some work that Liang and, and Zhang need to do to figure out the best way to complement each other's playing styles. just going for broke you could see he was slightly off balance again it's really important when you're playing these big forehand shots to get your foundations in place and just great speed there seen on a number of occasions Ma and Sung have done a great job of keeping their opponents out of position pushing them out towards both corners and this time Lily Zhang holding the table Jim Bao. He's been on great form so far this tournament, especially in the singles. It's great to have him back here in the United States again. So it's going to be five game points for Ma Jim Bao and Rachel Sung. And they'll take the first one. And it looks like I may have lied. It's a best of five. And that's going to be it for the mixed doubles final. Margin Bao and Rachel Sung are the mixed doubles champions of the 2022 Yola Global Championships. They'll take home a thousand US dollars. A great, great match played by both of them. I think tactically and in terms of synergy, I think they gelled together quite well. And they were definitely on the same page. A lot of focus on balanced attack and strong placement. They were able to dominate the table and really keep Lily Zhang and Liang Jishan out of position. They really 
kind of shut down the power forehand of Jishan and that makes a huge difference. So sit tight, we'll be back in around seven minutes with the women's doubles final. We'll do a table tennis style. Jolly. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta win. I'll take it. And you're starting at 10-0. You got match point here. This is match point? Match point. All right, it's gonna be quick, guys. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Two ten, Lily. <laughs> That's fine. I don't want to embarrass you too bad. Gotta give you a few. Okay. <laughs> Forget I said anything. <sighs> it's a good thing we're not doing spin serves. I know, oh my god. Three ten. Nadal. <laughs> Six? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, <that wasn't. laughs> oh my god. Was that fun for you? It felt fun for me. Super fun, thank you. <laughs> Having the time of my life. I'm just sad last night I couldn't run around this much because ping pong table, a little smaller, but. You were making me run around last night. So <laughs> Unsuccessfully. Nothing's changed. Uh, what is it, seven, 10? Seven or eight? Uh, seven, 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 for seven sure. on. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's nice. game. <laughs> we're calling it. At 10-7, or 11-7, rather. Oh, we're done? Oh, yeah, you just won the game. Oh, <laughs> Jolly!
strategy. Tire me out. <laughs> no, I'm totally fine. Yeah. That's how you normally talk. Through all those research and development, we are proud to introduce Horizon Line. Horizon CMD is for all those players out there that have their focus on control and are ready to give some new inspiration to their game. The intense ball feedback of the balanced sponge is the basis for excellent control and the revised concept of the enhanced traction surface helps you to be very precise in your shots. For the offensive game, the Ryzen CMD has a high momentum to attack with accuracy. Take command with the Yola Ryzen CMD. Get ready to outperform your opponent with the Ryzen CGR. Designed to optimize energy transfer, the hypertraction surface is extremely grippy and allows you to increase ball rotation with precision. The kinetic energy held within the hard balance sponge guarantees an impressive catapult effect and significant speed when released. Master the Ryzen CGR and you will get your shots on the next level. We are proud to release this new line and stay tuned for further innovations under the Ryzen series.
We'll do it table tennis style. Jolly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta win. I'll take it. And you're starting at 10-0. You got match point here. This is match point? Match point. All right, it's gonna be quick, guys. Oh. <laughs> what? Woo! Shelly. This is tiring. <laughs> How many timeouts do we get a game? Two? Two ten, Lily. <laughs> That's fine. I don't want to embarrass you too bad. Okay, it's time for the women's doubles final. We've got Kayla Goodwin and Shin Lee against Jiaqi Lin and Jen Deng. Assistant umpire Tony Miller on the left and on the right is umpire Jorge Venegas. Just had the mixed doubles final here on table one. Rachel Sung and Ma Jin Bao taking the crown over Lily Jung and Yang Ji Shan. Now we will have women's doubles final. Some more interesting style matchups here. Jen Dang playing with pips on the backhand side. Short pips. Or medium. Quick short. And then on the right side, Kayla Goodwin, left handed. Always good for a doubles combination. Players taking some time to stretch here. Still a few events going on here today. The Yola Global Championships. Over 30 singles, over 30 men's singles. One of the big events. We have players like Lee Jan, Philip Simansky, Daniel Gorak, Lubomir Pishte. <laughs> Andrew Bagley, Thomas Kyneth, even Cole playing the over 30 singles. So, draws almost as exciting in the over 30 singles. 
That's the open singles. Over 30 men's players playing for $2,000 prize money. Had a great tournament here at the Gaylord Palms Convention and Resort in Orlando, Florida. Really exceptional venue. Big water park, arcade, lots of restaurants. It's been a good home to players, volunteers umpires and staff for the week that we've been here of course we're here celebrating Yula's 70th anniversary there's a hundred thousand US dollars in the prize pool here across 67 different events open singles champion will take home $25,000 So Lee and Goodwin are on the near side. On the far side, Deng and Lin, teammates from Texas Wesleyan, two of the stronger women's collegiate players here in the US. I believe they won the women's doubles at last year's US Open. So Definitely a, a formidable pairing. One that's played together on numerous occasions. Vegas calling time. Get the match underway here. It's going to be best of five games for the doubles finals. We've already had the mixed final. Rachel Sung, Margin Bao, mixed doubles champions. Now see who will win the women's doubles. And Kayla Goodwin gets things started off. Find some space on the table. Puts the ball away with her backhand. And they'll take two off the serve. Tend to see a lot of creative serve returns. Some fade shots and doubles. Usually with the goal of trying to open up space. And Jia Chi Lin puts the ball away down the line. Jorge Venegas there just reminding ball toss from the moment it's released from the palm of the hand must be six inches or the height of the net. And just like we saw in the mixed doubles, you can see a concerted effort here to push Kayla Goodwin, the left-handed player, really deep into the backhand corner. Left-handers in doubles will usually 
try to step around onto the forehand as much as possible and their opponents will have the goal of preventing them from doing that so keeping the left hander on their backhand is a crucial strategy fortunately for Kayla Goodwin she has the backhand side covered You can see Lynn going for as much rotation on that first opening as possible. Very difficult to control the topspin on that ball. And a great combo there from Lynn and Deng. Nice short play and a great wide angle from Lynn. Lynn, typically a fairly controlled player, but she can get some really good placements, hit some very wide angles, and just has incredibly good spin control. And a lucky break off the net there will give Lin and Dang a two point lead here. Good heavy push there to start things from Goodwin. Dang just slowing the pace down a little with her backhand side. Crossing the timing error. This time, great forehand counter from Kayla Goodwin. Breaks the table with the wide angle. Bring them to within one point. And a loose ball there from Lee. I think she was expecting it to bounce as short as it did. And this time, Dan goes on the attack. Serve goes half long. They'll take the first game in this best of five. 11 points to seven. I think from the technical aspect, Glenn and Dang are definitely uh, the two players that have the advantage here. But we've really seen a lot of creativity, especially on the serve return from Goodwin and Lee. Some misdirection, a lot of angle play, certainly some potential for them to work here in the second game. See if they can level things up. So Lynn will start off with the serve. And 
as Lee pops it up. Gets a little lucky there with the flip over the end of the table. And a nice counter from Shen Li, but not enough to get through this pair. Pretty good setup there from Lee and Goodwin, but Lynn just hits a home run with that forehand. Great table depth there from Goodwin. Managed to get the ball right to the back line of the table. It's the kind of quality that you need. She'll double down on that. Two great forehand attacks from Goodwin. Serve comes back to them, but they're still trailing by two. It's got to be good for your confidence. That's three, three good attacking balls in a row. She converts three points for her team. And she'll take a four. Some good, confident shot making there from Kayla Goodwin. Recently joined Team Yola as a sponsored player, so great to have her here with us on the team and here at the Yola Global Champs. And to see her here in the women's doubles final on the last day of competition. And good placement there. Locks Lynn up in the corner. Takes away all that weight transfer on the forehand. And Lee just throwing the ball up there. A lot of topspin rotation. They've brought themselves into a pretty good position here. And again. I think Goodwin really set the pace for this game. Just making those strong, confident topspin attacks deep on the table. Now Lee's following suit. Anytime the ball's going long, they need to try and take those opportunities. And Lynn puts the ball long. Now Goodwin and Lee will have two game points here to tie things up at one each.
And both teams there just putting everything on the line. Lin and Deng tying things up here, saving those two game points. And they bring back the serve. And they'll set themselves up for the game point here. Now a chance to go up 2 0. Her placement there. Gets the ball down the line. Good acceleration. And luck will be on the side of Lin and Deng in that point. points in a row. No better time for it for them. Unfortunate for Shen Li and Kayla Goodwin. They definitely worked well together as a pair there in the second game. Once they got some confidence on those first openings, some great table depth with their shot making, Good topspin. They were able to force force more errors from their opponents. Game three here. Make or break here for Goodwin and Lee. We need to win this game to stay in this match. Had a big opportunity in the last game with two game points. weren't able to close it out. Got a little unlucky at the end with a couple of shots clipping the net. Then when you have two game points, you've got to take your opportunities then and there. And Cha Chi Lin just sending that ball with her forehand. bit of a run here six points to two good one and Lee you've got to try and close that gap nice heavy backspin serve there from Kaylee Goodwin just off the side of the table Jachi Lin just making some of those shots look completely effortless. And a 
Again, a good half-long placement there, just right off the edge of the table. Very difficult to loop, especially when the ball's falling from its bounce. And Gang serves half-long there. Returns the favor. Lin Deng leading 8-4, and Shin Lee and Kayla Goodwin are going to call a timeout. They know time is running out for them to try and recover some ground here. So Shen Li here will come back from the timeout with the serve. They want to get at least a few points here and try and get some momentum back after that timeout. And Dang with the forehand opening. Can bring her pairing just two points away. Goodwin going for the flip but not quite making the mark and Lin and Dang will have five championship points for this women's doubles final. First opportunity here, a big forehand, and Jin Deng and Jachi Lin, 3-0 win here, the women's doubles final at the 2022 Yola Global Table Tennis Championships. A very decisive display from them here, showing a very high level of technical capability and I'm sure they'll be very happy with that result. Sit tight and stay tuned in around 10 minutes we have the men's doubles final coming up. Don't go anywhere. We'll do it table tennis style. Jolly! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta win. I'll take it. And you're starting at 10-0. You got match point here. This is match point? Match point. Alright, it's gonna be quick guys. Oh! 
Two ten, Lily. <laughs> That's fine. I don't want to embarrass you too bad. I gotta give you a few. Okay. <laughs> Forget I said anything. <sighs> the good thing we're not doing spin serves. I know, oh my god. Three ten. Way. Way. All right, Nadal. <laughs> Six? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I want this. Oh my God. <laughs> Was that fun for you? It felt fun for me. Super fun, thank you. <laughs> Having the time of my life. I'm just sad last night I couldn't run around this much because the ping pong table a little smaller. But you were making me run around last night. <laughs> <laughs> Unsuccessful. Nothing's changed. Uh, what is it? Seven ten? Seven or eight? Uh, seven. Seven. For seven sure. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's nice. game. <laughs> we're calling it. At 10-7, or 11-7, rather. Oh, we're done? Oh, yeah, you just won the game. Oh, what? <laughs> <Jolly. laughs>
injury timeout. <laughs> Through all those research and development, we are proud to introduce the Ryzen line. Ryzen CMD is for all those players out there that have their focus on control and are ready to give some new inspiration to their game. The intense ball feedback of the balanced sponge is the basis for excellent control and the revised concept of the enhanced traction surface helps you to be very precise in your shots. For the offensive game, the Ryzen CMD has a high momentum to attack with accuracy. Take command with the Yola Ryzen CMD. Get ready to outperform your opponent with the Ryzen CGR. Designed to optimize energy transfer, the hypertraction surface is extremely grippy and allows you to increase ball rotation with precision. The kinetic energy held within the hard balance sponge guarantees an impressive catapult effect and significant speed when released. Master the Ryzen CGR and you will get your shots on the next level. We are proud to release this new line and stay tuned for further innovations under the Ryzen series. Time for the third doubles final. It's the men's doubles final here on table one. Horacio Cifuentes and Enzo Angle coming up against Lubomir Piste, Liang Jishan. On the left, umpire Scott Ryan. And on the right, Luis Castaño. Castaño will be the umpire. Scott Ryan will be the assistant umpire. Big match here in the men's doubles final. Piste has had a pretty busy week. He's been playing a lot of events. Playing the over 30s today. There's also the hard bat final.
men's doubles final here. He played the mixed doubles with his sister, Jana. Pinch day over. And of course, he will play in the open singles semi final. That will be at 1 30 pm Eastern Time against Cole. Should be a pretty good match. Two quality players, but here. The best men's doubles pairs of the 2022 Yola Global Championships here on table one. Anglais will be focusing on this event. He has knocked out a very tightly contested round of 16 singles match against Cole. Had a 3-0 lead. Ended up losing out in seven. Sefuentes from Argentina still in the open singles on the bottom half of the draw. And he'll be playing against Marjin Bao at 2.15 p.m. So we're going to see some, I think, some pretty explosive points. Both Sefuentes and Yang Jishan are very explosive power players. Anglais from France, currently here at the Samson Dabina Table Tennis Academy. Great to have him in the US for a little while. Of course, he's a great spin power player. Piste, just a brilliant touch player. Lots of creativity. Some unbelievable shots in his matches. And he'll start things off. A great forehand flip receive. And Jishan gets put in the corner there, but manages to make a little adjustment there and Keep the ball in play. A big backhand opening there from Liang Jishan. And Angle and Sifuentes put themselves on the board. This will be a best of five doubles final. We've already had the mixed and women's doubles finals here on table one. Anglais just could hit a penny on the table with that forehand. Right onto the corner. And Angwe really not having too much trouble with that power forehand from Liang Jishan. Big forehand there from Liang. This is going to be the difference for this team. Whether he can get those big forehand plays in. I think Pishte will do a good job of setting him up. And a great rally there. I think Sifuentes can match Liang for power. This is a pretty well-balanced doubles match. It's going to come down to the tactics. Tactics and the placements. Oh. 
But so far, Pishtan Liang taking away for game one here. Take the first game, 11 points to three. Pretty one-sided affair for this opening game. Piste and Liang Jishan seem to have fairly complementary styles. You have somebody who has good touch and a very good sense for placement and setting up the ball, like Pishte. Really hands Liang a lot of opportunities to play with that power forehand. And Sefuentes and Angle have some tactical work cut out for them here. Of course, coming into the second game, the doubles pairings will alternate, so we'll be heading to the opposite player to the last game. That can change things a lot. So, Chi Shan Liang will start with the serve. This men's doubles final will take away 2,000 US dollars. Liang set up pretty well for that ball, but just gives a little bit too much. Good, steady. Half long opening there from Pishte. Great doubles player. And nobody was home for that shot. Great angle there created by Liang. Had both players pushed out onto that left corner. Makes a good opening, but it's a little bit shallow on the table. You need to have good, good shot depth. Or a, a little bit of depth in the bounce. Angle typically has more topspin arc on his shot. And this time, Angle and Sifuente is doing a good job of backing their opponents off the table. And they'll draw it up at 4-H. Pishte just ranks that flat forehand.
Great pick up by Liang. Seven four lead for Liang and Pishte. It's a best of five final. They already won the first game. Jishan definitely had time to step around on that one. Opts to go for the big backhand instead. One of the first strong attacking shots we've seen landed there from Sifuentes. So, pretty commanding lead from Pistan Liang has dissolved and now Angla and Sifuentes find themselves in a pretty good position. I think Sifuentes has kind of stepped up the aggression a little more. Take the towel break. And Angle puts it away to tie things at 1-1. One, one. Certainly saw some more attacking confidence in that game from Anglais and Sifuentes, especially towards the second half of the game. So, Angle and Sifuentes clawed their way back in the second game. Tied things up at 1-1. One, one. Oh, there's no way. What a fantastic start to the second game. Angle ducking out of the way on the floor. But a superb start from Liang. Took that serve right off the bounce and redirected down the line. Pish day on the grind. Yeah. 
Definitely sound like a broken ball there. Lots of power play going on here. Both doubles pairs looking to be the initiator, the attacking pair. Stay keeping the spin pretty light on that. So they head out to a 4 0 lead. And Yang Jishan just putting the ball away. Cannot afford to let him get on the forehand and play with power. Piste going for the fake push flip. Very lucky break there. An unretrievable shot there. Just dribbles over the net. And really, once Leung gets on that forehand, it's pretty hard to regain control of the point. Pish stays straight on top of the next ball for the follow up. Of course, we did see Ongla and Sifuentes come back in the last game, and that's just a huge forehand. Ongla again catching the top edge of his racket. See those power loops really kicking up. Top spin. Piste and Liang up 8-2. They will want to make sure they don't repeat what happened in game two. Piste going on the attack there. Eight game points. Let's see if Sifuentes and Ongbe can do anything here, but no. Liang just pretty unstoppable. We saw this yesterday, actually between Liang Jishan and Pishte in the open singles. Liang just getting on his forehand and causing absolute havoc. If he gets into a rhythm of hitting those big forehand shots as I said earlier it's it's pretty dominant it's very hard to to come back from to regain control over the table so Liang and Pishte winning that game 11-2 to take a 2-1 lead it's a best of five men's doubles final Certainly see a little frustration from Angle. Once Jishan starts cranking those forehands, it's almost disbelief. Pretty difficult to try and figure out how to, to shut that down. I think Pishte and Liang, pretty complimentary doubles pairing. The way that they play together and how they set each other up is very formidable. Angle and Sifuentes getting off the mark. They've got to get in and initiate these points, set the pace a little bit more. Try and put Jishan on the defensive. 
not able to. Press the attack, but it was on an even playing field. Jishan still ripping those forehands. Piste throwing in those quick counters in between. And that's just ridiculous. We saw that in the first game as well. Liang pushed out as wide as he could be. Just bats the ball back. Straight across on the opposite angle. Opens up the whole table for Pishte. And they're looking pretty, pretty unstoppable right now. Throughout the last game and the start of the fourth here. This time, Yang throwing his weight into the ball, but missing the contact. Players go back to the towel. Foxes. Every six points you can tell, you'll see top professional players always using their time at the tower box. Great placement there, straight at the elbow of Sefuentes. And the pressure mounting here, Anglais and Sefuentes will call timeout and head back to the bench to try and recollect and figure out how to move forward here. Piste and Liang are in a really good position here. We haven't really seen too many matches in the doubles where Chishan Liang's been able to play so freely. I think this has been a major, major issue for Angle and Sifuentes is having allowed Shishan to play his best game. It's a difficult task, but moving forward, they have to shut it down. They've really got to try and pin him on that backhand. Let's find the backhand with Shishan really. So the players will come back, Angle will serve. And again, Piste just doing a superb job of setting up the finisher for Jishan. Same again. I think the synergy of this pair has been pretty fantastic throughout this match. Angle and Sefuentes struggling here. Piste's really been able to keep them on the right corner not giving them any angles to push Jishan out wide on the forehand. This time Sefuentes fights back with a little something. Still trailed by three points. And Angle, great weight transfer there. I think certainly Angle and Sequentis have everything that they need to be on an even footing or to, to come back in this match. It's 
always about how you combine those skills, how you combine those strengths into tactics. time Angle put the ball straight in the corner catches Liang off balance this is really what the target needs to be if Liang can have a stable foundation with his feet that's when he's most dangerous so keeping him off balance is the name of the game but right now they're holding that three-point lead Already up 2-1 in games. Just two points away here from potentially taking this men's doubles championship. And they'll set up four match points. And they'll take the first one. Liang, Ji Shan, and Lumir Pishte are the men's doubles champions here at the 2022 Yola Global Table Tennis Championships. Really, really textbook doubles play there from these two players. And I think they just have a fantastic synergy together really really good team gel they work together perfectly complementary styles Piste was really able to bring out the best in Liang's game fantastic result there and they'll take home and pocket 2,000 US dollars for the men's doubles championship we'll be back in around 15 minutes the women's singles semi-final so sit tight.